I'll make some observations. Thank you, Prime Minister. Look, as far as Mr Palmer goes, everyone else is wrong, but he's always right. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, that you good folk, with a grace of respect, really ask Mr Palmer the hard questions. He says he's not in business, but then he still is in business, trying to get out of paying a carbon tax obligation. Um, he says he's not in business, but then he's constantly talking about uh, his excuses for why he's not protecting the Great Barrier Reef properly in Townsville. This is a guy who tried to buy a government, my government, and we said go away. We said we're not for sale. As a result, he's gone on a rampage around Australia trying to buy other people and buy, buy people's votes. And we're seeing that in the Northern Territory today. I ask, what inducements were offered to these three MPs? What promises, what inducements were offered them to jump ship? I really call on Mr Palmer today to do one thing. Stop spending money on election campaigning around Australia when you don't seem to have the money to fulfil your environmental obligations in Townsville and your obligations to a thousand men and women who rely on jobs at the nickel refinery. What about the hundreds of people who lost their job at the Palmer Resort? Again, he spends money on election advertising while that resort, which was once an iconic Queensland destination, is falling apart and is a sad, sick joke. So those are the questions Mr Palmer needs to be, be asked. It's time for him, with the situation that he has brought himself, to answer the real questions about what he stands for and what he intends to do now he's bought himself a position of power and influence. I mean, are you suggesting there's something improper about Mr Palmer's I'm saying, I'm saying if I was a journalist today, I'd be saying to Mr Palmer and I'd be saying to these three people, if indeed they're jumping ship, I'd be saying what was offered what cash, what jobs, what financial uh, support for elections, what offers were made to get them to jump ship. Because, you know, I, I, I reckon if, if, uh, he, he, if he's consistent with the way that he operates around the nation, he's busy trying to buy votes and buy people. That's what he does. He tried to do that with us. We said no. And as a result, uh, he's now a firm political opponent of this government.